back from that commercial break, it's time for our debate whose motion is studying from abroad is better than studying from your home country. Learn as you enjoy. Good morning, dear viewers. Welcome to our debate. Whose motion is studying abroad is better than studying in, in your homeland? I am the chairperson of the day. My name is Katrega David. On the proposing side, we have Honorable Sharon, Honorable Karen, Honorable Kerry, Honorable Arthur, Honorable Martha, and Honorable Janet. That is our proposing side, which is saying studying abroad. Also, on the proposal, on the opposer side, we have Honorable Rorita, Honorable Emil, Honorable Fred, Honorable Timothy, Honorable Gloria, and Honorable Hope. Remember, the motion remains: studying abroad is better than studying in your homeland. Let's. Start the debate with a word of prayer from Honorable Humble yourselves for the word of prayer. Oh Lord, we thank you for the gift of life you have given us. We thank you for our parents you have given us. We thank you for life. We have come to death in, in front of you. Oh Lord, help us to win all they win. Oh Lord, may your Holy Spirit guide us in everything we do. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Thank you, Honorable Sharon, for that, for that marvelous word of prayer. Let's start the debate with the proposing said by Honorable Sharon. Thank you, Chairperson, for giving me this opportunity and your cabinets plus the August House. As the motion for today states that studying abroad is better than studying from your, in your homeland. To me, I propose the motion by my following views. My first view is that... When you are studying from abroad, you can see extra things which, have, which you have never seen in your home country. For example, when you are studying from other, other countries, Canada, America, and other countries, you can see extra things. For example, if they give you work that when it's all about some, some of the big buildings you can see, and you get to know all what they are talking about. For example, some of the people who work in aeroplanes, they, if they are learning, they can see the aeroplanes, they can go to the airport, and then they learn what, what, takes, place, what takes place in, air, in aeroplanes. My second view is that when you are studying from abroad, you can... You can easily get employment. If, for example, you want to become a lawyer, you can easily be a lawyer because when you are studying from abroad, jobs are enough. Thank you, Chairperson. Thank you, Honorable Sharon. Let's proceed the debate with Honorable Rita from the opposing side. Thank you, Chairperson, for giving me this opportunity and the August House. Today's motion states that studying abroad is better than studying in your homeland. I don't support the motion by my following views. My first view is it, it helps one to know the political status of a country. For example, it can be easily for a person, like in, for example, if they are getting like votes, the president or the ministers, the MPs who are trying to get votes, they pass through the city, they pass through some villages when they want to get votes. But when you're abroad, some of the presidents, they take themselves as if they are high. They don't want to go in lower, lower class people. So they just leave them. They know that they are just going to get votes. But remember, if, if you pass out, people can also, if you give them some help, they can also be encouraged to get for you votes. And my second view is it is difficult to get to make friends abroad. It is difficult to make friends because when you reach there, you don't know anybody. You have never seen anybody. You have just gone there to study. 
and it's difficult so to get a friend thank you thank you honorable Rorita, for that marvelous point i would like to thank all the the honorables that have just spoke their points but maybe a point of correction they have none has defined the motion that can't refuse us to proceed with the debate remember the first speaker is never disturbed Let's proceed with Honorable Karen from the proposing side. Thank you, Chairperson, for giving me this opportunity. As the motion says, studying abroad is better than studying in your homeland. I support studying abroad by my following views. When you study abroad, you can make friends from all over the world. When you study abroad, you learn about many different cultures. And also when you study abroad, you can, high, you can have higher chances of employment. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Karen, for that point. Let's have Honorable, Honorable Fred for a point of information. Thank you, Chairperson, plus the two competitive bodies. I would like to inquire from Honorable Karen that what, what are cultures? She said cultures. So to me, I want to know the meaning of the word cultures. Thank you, Honorable Fred, for that point of inquiring. L let's have Honorable Karen to give us a statement about Thank you, Chairperson, once again. I would like to answer Honorable Freddy's question by saying that culture are social norms and beliefs of a society. Noted, please. Thank you, Honorable Sharon, for that point of defense. But I'd like to inform the House that the word honor the Honorable Sharon has given a definition for another word. Let's proceed the debate with Honorable Grace. Thank you, Chairperson, Secretary, and the House at Lunch. My name is Grace, and I, the, the motion states, studying abroad is better than studying in your homeland. I do not support the motion by saying, when you, when you are studying abroad, you face a problem of the language. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Grace, for that marvelous point. Let's have Honorable Kerry to give us his point. As the motion states that studying from abroad is better than studying from your home country, I support it by saying that <coughs> studying from abroad, you learn many things and you get experiences. Ex that, and those experiences can help you in work, and also you can bring some in your home country and we use them to develop in the country. Like you can bring robots that can work in malls, shop, shops, and others. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Kerry, for that wonderful point. Let's have Honorable Fred from the opposing side. Thank you, Chairperson, plus the two competitive bodies. Our motion for today states that studying from abroad is better than studying from your home country. I oppose it by saying that studying from home country is better because it is a source of income to the school owners in your homeland. In such a way that when the, you go to the school, it's like employing them. You, you give them money and, and, they get, and, they, and they get money. My second point is that it helps one to know his homeland language. How? In, in those schools which he studies from, he can be taught his, his, his homeland language like Uganda. We speak Luganda. Uh, we can be taught Luganda in schools. So to me, I say that studying from homeland is better. My third point is that we can get to know our, our culture. Culture are social norms and beliefs of a society. So, so to me, I say that we can learn culture. 
culture are social norms. So we can be taught the things of, of our grandparents and others. My, my fourth point is that it, enable, it enables one to share parental love. In a way that when he, is in, in, he or she is in his or her homeland, he can, he can get to share his, his part. He can share love from his parents, unlike when he or she is in out is in is abroad. Thank you, Chairperson, plus the two competitive bodies. Thank you, Honorable Fred, for those wonderful points. Let's have a point of information from Honorable Arthur. Thank you, Chairperson, for giving me this opportunity to say my point of information. This point of information goes to Honorable Fred. Honorable Fred, I know we are in Uganda, and you have said we speak Luganda, but not of people in Uganda, no Luganda. What are you speaking? You are, you are from speaking English, not Luganda. Honorable Fred, Honorable Fred, people in Uganda, some of them don't know how, don't know Luganda. Most of them know English. Thank you, Chair Pastor, for giving me this opportunity. Points of defenses are denied. Let's have a point from Honorable Arthur. Thank you, Chair Pastor, for giving me this opportunity. I may like to say that I may like to first define the motion as studying from abroad is better than studying from our homeland. I support it by saying studying of abroad from abroad is better. Allow me to say my point. My first point is studying from abroad is easy because when you go to school, you, you are not always bothered that you are, you are right getting a pencil to write. You just use computers. And when you are absent, they can send, if you have a laptop, they can send your, your classwork to the, your laptop. But here in Uganda, they, they just, in here in Uganda, you miss a day, they say, don't try my child. It's okay. You can't repeat this work. Thank you, Chairperson. Point of information. Point of information are denied. Let's proceed the debate with the opposing side with Honorable Timothy. Thank you, Chairperson and the House at large. As the motion states, studying, in ab studying abroad is better than studying in home countries. I support home countries by saying that we learn good morals like greeting our parents while kneeling. While in abroad, we don't, we don't greet while kneeling. People just stand well greet. That's one. Thank you, Honorable Timothy, for those wonderful points. Let's proceed the debate with, with, with the proposing side by Honorable Martha. Good morning, dear viewers. As the motion states, studying abroad is better than studying in your, in your homeland. I support the motion by saying, when you study abroad, you get to learn new languages like if you are Ugandan, you get to learn English, and if and if and if you learn English, you get to learn Chinese. And my other point is that if you study if you study abroad, you get to learn the norms and cultures of that country. You can even get to stay in that country permanently. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Martha, for those for that. For those wonderful points, let's proceed the debate with Honorable, with Honorable Gloria from the opposer side. Thank you, Chairperson, for giving this opportunity. As the motion states, studying abroad is better than studying in your homeland. I don't support the motion by my following views. My first point is, Studying abroad is very expensive to most people. My second point is, most people who study abroad don't want to come back home and develop their country. Thank you.
Thank you, Honorable Gloria, for those wonderful points. The floor is open for points of information and many more. Let's start, let's start with Honorable Fred, Honorable Rita, Honorable Karen, and Honorable Arthur. Thank you, Chairperson. I would like to, to, in, to inform Honorable Arthur that I say the point whereby I say that, hmm? yeah. I say the point whereby I say that we can learn our homeland language. And you say that here, where am I? I am from speaking English. But you know that I am speak, I am, we are in the debate. So can I speak, can I speak vernacular when all of you are speaking Eng English? Hmm? Thank you. I would like to inform again Honorable Arthur. He said that in, in, in abroad, we can, we can use computers for reading, for writing, okay, for writing. But, but writing is a vigorous exercise. Writing is a vigorous exercise. So, so writing is a vigorous exercise. It is not bad. We can write. We can write. It is not bad. So it is a vigorous exercise. You can't say that we can use computers. We can use computers when we have books. Hmm? Have you have you noted my information? Okay. Uh, this goes to Martha. You say that we can learn English from abroad, but in here in Uganda. Don't we have any subject we called English? Oh. Aren't we taught English in, in our homeland country? We are taught English. And exams are set in English. PLE is set in English. So you can't lie me that you can only, you can only get to learn English from abroad countries. From abroad. So to me, I say that even in our homeland country, in our homeland countries, we can learn English from what you said, it's bad. All honorable members, you're warned. If you want to speak a point, raise up your hand. For example, honorable Arthur. I'm warning you for the last will be kicked out of the debate. Let's, have, let's proceed with the points of defense information from our honorables. Thank you, Chairperson, for giving me this opportunity. And these points of correction go to Honorable Arthur. Honorable Arthur, you said that in, Eng in, in our homeland that most of us speak English, but are you sure that most of us speak English? Have you ever seen a Karimojong? Okay, I've given you an example of a tribe. Like the Karimojongs, have you ever seen them speaking English? Okay, some of them can speak, but not all of them. You could say some of us know English, but not most of us. Some of us. And my second point is, it goes to you, because you said that, I will be different from Honorable Fred, you said that, they use computers to send the work like if the child is absent. But those things, remember, they spoil the child. They spoil the child's mind because even if she's absent, she can even pretend to be absent when she does not want to write. She knows that they are going to send for me. And remember, if you don't write in your book, when it reaches time for revising, will you go to the computer, start, hey, I'm checking, I'm checking. Then your mother calls you, come and do housework, you'll search for it later. Then you start, mommy, mommy, I'm still searching. Mommy, can you do that to your mother? It is better if you write in your book, you can even get time. But you have to first log in the password. You have to first log out. Some of them are being cancelled. You can't internet setting, all of them. So you have to first take a lot of time. This point of information goes to Honorable Fred. <laughs> Some schools in Uganda teach foreign languages like English. English. <laughs> so that when you go abroad, it's easy for you to communicate with other people. 
those some of the schools which are in villages they only teach them their own local languages now when when they have grown up and they go abroad how can they communicate with other people thank you chairperson for giving me this opportunity i mean like to first inform honorable honorable timothy honorable timothy you said that we learn to grade but do you greet well in link? You have never. I watch you at home. You have never. Honorable friend, I may like to correct you. <laughs> you say that exams, exams set English. <laughs> he said exams set English. Don't quarrel. Thank you. Correction. Point, of point of defense and correction. Thank you, Honorable. Honorables for those points of information, inquiring, and so on. But I'd like to inform Honorable Arthur what I've written in my files. It shows that Honorable Fred said that exams are set in English. Later, after the two Honorables on both sides, the floor will be open for points of information, inquiry, and so on. Let's proceed with Honorable Janet from the proposal side. Good morning, dear viewers. The, as the motion states, studying in abroad is be, in abroad is better is better than studying in your homeland. I support the motion by saying. You will experience a brand new country with incredible new life. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Janet, for that wonderful point. Let's have Honorable Hope from the opposer side. Thank you, Chairperson and the House at large. Today's, today's debate says that Studying from abroad is better than studying from homeland. My points are my points are studying from abroad is more ex expensive than studying from home home country. Start, my second point is studying from home country enables the child to know his or her mother's tongue. My third point is studying from home country is good because you can study with the people which you know. Thank you. Thank you, Chairperson, for this opportunity. I would like to inquire from Honorable Janet that you say the point you say the point which I didn't understand well, but can you enlighten more about it? Because you s there are words which I didn't understand in your point. Thank you, Chairperson, for giving me this opportunity. I'd mean, like to tell Honorable Hope that that you said you said that when we studied from home country, homeland, the, our homeland. We learn to study people. What do you mean in studying people? Thank you, Chairperson, for giving me this opportunity. I would like to defend my colleague by saying that, say that we can st study more about people. She was meaning that we can study more about people. Uh, let me give you examples of those people we can study about. We can study about the colonialists. We can study about the colonial masters of a country, like Uganda. We can study about missionaries. So she was trying to mean that we can study about people of long ago. Thank you, Chairperson. Thank you, Chairperson, for giving me this opportunity in the August House. This point of correction goes to Honorable Karen. Honorable Karen. Can you please correct your English? I know it was just a slight mistake, but please, it's English, not English. Thank you, Chairperson, for giving me this opportunity. I may like to explain to Honorable Loretta and Honorable Fred and Honorable Timothy that. What I meant by th that, that when you are absent, like up, 
abroad when you are at school when you are absent and you stay when you are very sick and you stay home they can send to you your work but a child in Uganda a child in Uganda when is absent that child say okay my child it's okay don't repeat exams comes the child fails thank you chairperson for giving me this opportunity plus the august house i would like to defend myself by telling honorable Arthur that that thing even though okay that teacher can tell the child that you have spent many days without coming but still some schools are very 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 strict you cannot go and some of us like at my school they always check at the end of the day whenever they ring the bell of going home they always check whether they have the work for today they check for every date they always check 23rd they see the work that the teacher gets they see then the work in your book they see that that they see that teachers work they see even your work you have in the book so i think that things spoils children because it leads even to laziness thank you honorable uh, honorable rita for those wonderful points allow the chairperson count all your marks and later you receive the results The final results of the day. The proposer side has got 42 marks and the opposer side has got 90 marks. So, I like to grant the opposer side winners. Yes! Wow, it's time for another commercial break. Don't go away. 